title, a tail wagging horde of 450 golden retrievers invades their Scottish roots. TL, DR, a sea of golden fur, with over 450 golden retrievers, turned up at the historic Gusican estate in Scotland. The site marks the birthplace of the breed itself. This massive pupper party was part of a week of workshops and demonstrations, all about their shared history. Ancestor Sir Dudley Marjorie Banks, also known as Lord Tweedmouth, would surely be wagging his tail in his grave. And now for the scoop. Have you ever imagined what it'd be like to witness hundreds of golden retrievers romping and frolicking around a single estate? That's not a hypothetical, folks. It's the reality that unfolded at the ancestral home of the golden retriever breed in Scotland recently, and boy, it was a sight for sore eyes. The Gusigan estate in Scotland saw an enchanting, heart-melting gathering of more than 450 golden retrievers. Think about it for a second, 450 golden retrievers all in one place. This is the stuff dog lover dreams are made of. The event was more than just a porsome hangout, it was a family reunion of fluffy proportions. Now, do you remember the tale of the first ever golden retriever? History has it that Sir Dudley Marjorie Banks, later known as Lord Tweedmouth, quite the name, eh? Bred the first of this popular breed way back in 1868. The doting dad of golden retrievers created the breed by crossing a water spaniel with a wavy-coated retriever. Talk about a golden, idea. This grand reunion wasn't just for kicks and giggles, folks. It was a week-long event filled with workshops, discussions, and demonstrations, put together by the Golden Retriever Club of Scotland. The objective? To keep doggo devotees informed about the background of this adored breed. But let's pause for a moment, why were these particular pups at this particular place? The Gusigan Estate is the very spot where this golden miracle first happened. If walls could talk, this estate would have endless tales to wag about. Imagine the paws that have scampered these grounds over the decades. And of course, there was a group photo. You'd be barking mad to miss that opportunity. Picture 450 golden retrievers, all striking a pose in front of the historic ruins where the breed originated. Not a bad way to mark your territory, right? So, there you have it, folks. The cutest family reunion ever. And if this doesn't make you want to cuddle up with a golden retriever, I don't know what will. Over to you, could this be the best possible example of too much of a good thing or do we agree that when it comes to golden retrievers, there's no such thing as too many?